Hello everybody, uh, this is Al with Bobcat and today I wanted to talk about three important tools you should know when working with solids. The first one is extract edges. Extract edges is used to convert surfaces, surface edges, or solids into wireframe. The second one is section view. Section view is used to create a cross section of your part. You can use this to view internal features or you can also generate wireframe. And the third one is surface intersection curves. Intersection curves are used with a single surface and surfaces or solids. The result is wireframe that is created at the intersection of the first surface and the other two uh, or the second shape that you may select. Using these tools you can create wireframe based off your solid or surfaces. Why do you need wireframe? Well there's a number of reasons. You can use wireframe as part of your design process. You could use wireframe as part of your toolpath process or you could use wireframe as part of your inspection process. No matter which process you're working with, when you're working with surfaces or solids, knowing how to use these tools will make a big difference in your Bobcat experience. Okay, so let's take a look at Extract Edges. Uh, extract Edges is found under Utilities, Extract Edges, and you have two options, Single or From Solid. So let's look at both of them. But before we do anything, it's a good idea to create a new layer and make that layer active. The reason why we do this is when we generate our wireframe, we want to be able to separate it from our surfaces or solids, and using layers is a very quick and easy way to do that. Okay, so Extract edges single this is your first option this is the one that I use most often this feature allows you to select a surface edge a single surface or you can even select multiple surfaces choosing those surfaces you want to generate wireframe for now new to version 27 is the ability to project this geometry to a z-plane which can be very helpful but the first thing let's do is let's take this geometry that we've selected, we'll right click OK, and what you'll see is that we were able to generate the wireframe for those surface edges. Okay, we'll undo this and we'll do this process again. Utility extract edges single. This time we'll choose project to Z plane and set the Z value to zero. We'll select the same two surfaces. We'll zoom in this one and this one right here and then we'll choose OK. The difference being is this time that geometry was projected to Z0 versus being extracted to where the geometry was located. Now, if we take a look at extract edges from solids, this works the same way as it does from single. The difference being it will select, when you select the solid, it's gonna extract all the wireframe from that solid. And as you can see, we have all the wireframe for all the surface edges. Now. There are advantages to using extract edges from solid, but I generally find having all the surface edges on the screen at one time can be a little cumbersome to work with. So generally, I prefer to work with extract edges single. I find it gives me the ability to isolate those surfaces I wanna work with. Now that we've reviewed extract edges, let's take a look at how to use your section view. You'll find this under Views and Section View. Now what Section View does is it creates a plane and if that plane intersects with your solid, you'll get a preview of it in pink. Now, if you want to generate the wireframe for where that plane intersects with your model, you just click on Generate Wireframe. In this example, we're going to go to a front view and from front view, we'll click Generate Wireframe. Now that we've clicked Generate Wireframe, you'll see that we have the wireframe for the profile of the part. Now this is a great tool to, to view internal features. You can use this when you're generating your OD and ID profiles for your parts that you're going to turn. And you can also use this for general inspection. The last feature we want to look at is surface intersection curves. So in order to, to use this feature, we need two surfaces or solids that intersect with each other. So we'll go to surface circular plane and we're gonna generate a 
uh, circular plane surface that intersects with our model, okay? And then uh, from here, we'll create a new layer and make it active. And then we'll go to surfaces, intersection curves, and then we can select the surface and then the solid body. And then where they intersect, we will see that wireframe was created. Now this is, uh, this is a very useful feature. Again, we can take this surface plane and we can translate this down. So we'll make a copy minus one inch, for instance. Okay, so now we can repeat this process at a different level. Okay, similar to extract edges, similar to the section plane, except in this case, uh, we're using a surface plane and the solid body and where they intersect is where the wireframe will be generated as we can see here using any of these features with the software will result in wireframe depending on your project workflow or user preference will determine which feature you use now that you have a better understanding of how these features work try them out in your next project if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please reply back to the Facebook, the YouTube, or whatever thread this video may be posted in. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.